right, ladies and gentlemen, in honor of uh, July 4th, we are not recording on July 4th, um, because I will either be too inebriated or uh, up to my eyeball eyeballs in uh, explosive fireworks uh, to, to really do anything, so we'll see. I've got a couple stories for that. It's just going to be a... We're going to react to like one video and then uh, we're just going to talk for a little bit. It, it's not going to be a long podcast. I'd say about 30, 40 minutes, perhaps. <laughs> but, um, Happy yeah. Happy Ap Independence Day, ladies and gents. Happy and, Independence Day. And not uh, the movie, even though that was a good movie. Yeah, it is. That's good. Good ass movie. If you haven't seen that, I would recommend going and seeing it. Uh, apparently there's a sequel but we don't really talk about that it's like bruno we don't talk about bruno yes i've seen Encanto. i oh my god we have to watch that it's it's i don't understand it but that's just me i i don't understand a lot of the cultural like nods but that's just me obviously i have some very um pasty ass skin so but yeah it's okay Every i am <laughs> Go for it. Sorry, I was just saying it's okay because Bruno was like Bruno was my favorite part anyway. See, I like the what's the the like the big strong chick. I always oh, thought yeah. she was kind of cool. It's like, damn, she do you know. even lift, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I forgot her name, but she. I think was it's cool. like no, it's not Mirabelle Louise or something like that. I don't know. I also watched the the new Ice Age. I'm just gonna go ahead and save you the trouble. We won't even do a review on that because it's utter it's utter trash. We don't we put trash should. on this channel. We could do a review on that. I mean, I, I it will be nothing positive. I'll play I devil's sat, advocate. I sat there for however long that minute was and thought this is the best you can do. You've had fifteen. You've had a long ass time, and this is the best you can do. Oof. What happened to the red? What happened to the OG voices? Did they just uh, say "fuck you" and you're I'm not doing this anymore? Like what? What I, happened? I didn't know it wasn't the same voices. Yeah, then then already I wouldn't have watched it. Yeah, I didn't know that either until I started watching, it and I was like, these don't sound the same. Hmm. Mm. I mean, I, I, granted, don't get me wrong. Like James Earl Jones sounds a little different, but it's not a completely different voice. Mm -hmm. So I mean. You know, I, I don't, it's like if you had Shrek as somebody other than the man who played it, or Donkey as Mike somebody Myers. other than, uh, I think it was Mike Myers, yeah. Yeah, Mike Myers. <laughs> if you had Donkey as some, like, somebody voiced them other than, uh, Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm burpy right now. I don't know fuck, I fucking don't know why. Indigestion. Lovely. <laughs> But um, yeah, yeah, I agree. I would, yeah, that sucks. I was, I was really upset about that because like this is this is a movie from my childhood and y'all fucked it up. It's like the new Buzz Lightyear movie. Okay, I have I have a legitimate beef with and with the new Buzz Lightyear movie. They're like, oh, this is the, no, I haven't seen it. I'm not gonna see it, and I'll tell you what. They're like, oh, this is an origin story for Buzz. They had one in 2000. Actually, hold on, hold hold on. Sorry, we're getting sidetracked. It tends but... to happen. TV show. <laughs> what year did that air? Star Command. Oh, 2000. Yeah. It was in 2000. So, I don't know where Disney gets off going, Oh, there's no, there's no such thing as an origin story. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Right here, Disney, you dumbass. <laughs> I totally, oh my god. I, I remember this show. Well, now I, I do. Because I was like, you, you're kidding me that they're they're doing a... Oh. Obviously, obviously, people have forgotten about the classics, which sucks because there's good shit. Yeah. Like Disney, I hate the cartoons on Disney Channel now. They are so fucking stupid yeah they probably does are. anybody remember disney channel's house of mouse that no. shit was amazing 
I don't remember that. Okay, then we 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 we. House of Mouse. No, House of Mouse. Okay, extreme. so this is this is well, we won't do a snippet of it because Disney is like this evil ass corporation that doesn't give a fuck about anybody. Yeah. I mean, it's true they are. Sorry, Disney lovers. It's yeah. not that we don't love. Disney I'm actually not sorry. She can be sorry, but your com your corporation that you love is absolutely <laughs> atrocious. They sued a daycare. That's, yeah, that's the Oh, come on. I don't want to see no ads. Hey, Jacksonville. I'm not doing anything. I mean, does no one remember this? I feel like I'm... I didn't have Disney. <laughs> so, I... I probably wouldn't if, if I had to. This is like this is like the AFV version of Disney Channel, and it was amazing. I don't I don't get where people were like, oh no, we're not we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Hold your horses, lady who's trying to skimboard Sorry. very badly. Oh. Skimboard? Yeah. So basically, the the premise of skimboarding is you wait along the shore, you sprint. That's the key. You sprint. Oh. You throw your board down and you skim the waves. And okay. you can do some really cool shit. She moseyed at best. <laughs> I am not a very fast runner, but I have been... I can probably skateboard. I can surf. Okay. As okay. fat as I am, I can surf. He's not fat, by the way. Anyone who doesn't know he's what he looks like, he's not fat. He's a big boy. I am. I am I'm a big fat. boy. I like... He's what's my body type? I like a cheeseburger every now and then. He's slim thick. Won't say no to a taco. That's my that's my body style. He's not bad though. He but, just, not that there's anything wrong with that. No, no, there's nothing. He's just like he's just lying. Exactly. Maybe we'll see. Who knows? Um. So yeah, I'm just getting kind of tired of Disney just like rehashing this shit and be like, oh yeah, it's brand new. No one thought of it, bitch. You did think of it 20 years ago. Are you fucking? What what is it? Uh, what is it when you start losing your memory? Um, dementia. Yeah. Are you? Do you have I'm dementia? I don't, you know. Mr. Disney, uh, do you have dementia? They just ran out of ideas, like. Always. They really did. Like, if they were gonna do a live action movie, The Lion King wasn't it. If we're okay. gonna be honest. Agreed. There's like almost there's like no fucking humans in the movie. Why would I, you even I, pick that one for the for not a even, live action? Not even that. Just go watch Hamlet. By William Shakespeare, and you got the premise of Lion King. Boom, That's you're true. good. That's true. I mean, yeah. but the animated version was fire. And then you come out with a B plus, maybe a C, or a B minus, C plus. I was okay. I wasn't. I wasn't the biggest fan. Okay, I appreciate it cin cinematography wise, but as far as like it being the Lion King. I'm okay. Like Aladdin, I have not seen. I, <laughs> I have not seen Aladdin, and it's for one reason. And I'm I, I Will Smith is a good actor, regardless of how hard he slapped Chris Rock. We won't get into that. But boo, boo, boo. he slapped the shit out of him. Just saying. He, he a bitch for that. I mean, yeah, I. Look, man, I, I've seen some... I, I get the whole mental fucketry that's going on in his head. I get that. But he slapped the dog piss out of Chris Rock. Just saying. Oh, but, he just... Yeah, I mean, that that's that's a whole discussion for another another stream. He himself, I feel like. More than anything, he just embarrassed himself. He sure oh, for sure. His, you know, his, his image of... of well, we all kind of viewed him as. Oh, for anyway. sure. But, uh, yeah. like, I, I, I refuse to go see Aladdin for one for one reason and one reason only. Robin Williams. Yeah. Robin yeah. Williams was genie. You can put any motherfucker you want as Jafar, um, Aladdin, uh, Jasmine, the Sultan, mm -hmm. Iago. Although, Iago was kind of iconic. I don't remember the name, the guy's voice, the guy's yeah. name. But that voice yeah. is very iconic. But you yeah. can't have anybody but Robin Williams be that genie. Because he made that movie. 
Yeah, he did. And I agree. I, I wouldn't have. There's just some things and some movies, some things, some shows that you just don't, you don't mess with like perfection. I kind of feel like it's like you already hit the nail on the head. Why the hell are you going back and beating the shit out of the nail afterwards? Like what? I know you're just, you're not, you're just going to make it like, you're just going to less, make it less good. <laughs> like you can't like, don't, so, you know, just leave like, it alone. I, I, as you can tell on this channel, I'm a huge fucking Star Wars nerd. I, I gotta say, I apologize for the delay on the Obi Wan Kenobi thing. We're working on it. Don't worry, I have fault. seen I'm it. Sorry. Um, we we will get to it. We did film it originally the day it came out, but there were some inconsistencies that I have to correct because I know y'all y'all some y'all some nerds out there, and y'all gonna point it out. So I'm just covering all my bases. Um. Also, real quick, Gilbert Godfrey. Would he was the voice of That's the, the name of Yago? There mm -hmm. we go, Gilbert. Yeah, like that <laughs> motherfucker. You can't. There are some actors who are born for roles. Exactly. Johnny Depp was yep. born to be Captain Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. born to be Tony Stark. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds born to be the sarcastic foul mouth Deadpool. Deadpool, hundred <laughs> percent. Vigo Mortensen, like... born to be Aragorn. I have not seen that one. Lord of the Rings, it's 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 a good movie. I mean, I so here, here's my recommendation: watch the theatrical version first, because that's way shorter than the extended edition. HBO is... has the extended extended edition, Damn. which is like four or five hours long for each I movie. Watch that one. Get you HBO can... Max then. Gives you all the good stuff, you know. Oh yeah. All the little nerdy goodness. So uh, yeah, I, I agree. I I, pro I won't watch that those either. I I didn't like the idea of them doing the live actions anyway. To be I mean, honest. there there was one movie that I thought really really deserved a live action counterpart, and that was Atlantis. Mm, that one, yeah, I could have seen that one. And Michael J. Fox, like he's awesome, and I and his voice yeah. too. So I, I liked his. Do y'all remember I, I, a movie called Dinosaur? Mm, it's a pix. I think I it's a remember. Pixar movie. I remember, but I just don't remember. Like I, I own that. You do. I do. I love this movie. Maybe you could join me on movie nights. I that would. I'll, that is. Hold on. Hold I'll on. Hold on. Nights on my channel. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Who? Who is who? Because I have not seen any of these names. D.B. Sweeney, that name sounds familiar for some reason, but I don't know why. So let's see. Let's see. Audrey, I can see that. Lawrence Stanley, yep, okay. I mean, James Garner. But see, this, okay, so I, I oh, what was the... Let's see if they they had a really good. Oh, here it is, right here. This I don't know how well you guys can see it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enlarge it to cover my face. Is this what people are hoping for the part? This is who I would personally put as these motherfuckers. Did you come up with this one? No, I did not. I pulled. I saw this on Facebook, and I was like, this is genius. Maybe. I have an idea, but I'll, I'll tell you later. But All yeah. Right, it, yeah. That, this would be Danny DeVito. You got Terry Crews as, the, I, as Sweet. I mean, come on. I agree with some. I definitely fuck no for some other ones. The Marine dude from um, Avatar as Rourke. Fuck yeah, a hundred percent. Michelle Rodriguez as the mechanic uh, chick. Fuck yeah, I agree with that. Also, I always had a crush on Michelle Rodriguez. Don't know why. Thought she was very pretty. She is in and like I that tomboy way. But good lord, look at that jawline! Wow. Um, cool. I say fuck no to the lead. Uh, her? I don't remember you said, the character. You're talking about her? No, which no. one? Yes. This one? Fuck no to that casting, and fuck no to the main dude casting. See, I agree with the main dude. He looks a lot like him. He, he, he There's a lot of people you can get to look a lot like him. 
like but Kida, it, I agree with. Like that, that I can see. the names of the actors next uh, to it? Like, do we know who the, who, like, could you I, tell me who the... I don't particularly know. That's Angelina Jolie? I didn't know that. Okay. Steven, that's that guy's name? Is Steven Lang? I didn't know that. Which one? The, the, the fucking marine dude oh. from Avatar. His name is, uh, Stephen Lang. I didn't know that. Huh. Hmm. William yeah, H. Macy. I, I, the two. I don't know who they have for the Atlantis chick. Can you tell me which actor I don't, that is? I don't even know if it's an, if she's an actress. I think she's a cosplayer, oh. actually. <laughs> I, I literally think she's a cosplayer. That's that okay. That's definitely like they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna pick. A well, cosplay. yeah, but it would be nice. I mean, it would be cool if, if, but that's highly unlikely. But yeah, I I have an idea. Okay, now I have an idea. Yeah, Disney would Disney would do good. Like I watched Dis uh Atlantis Milo's Return. I was kind of not happy with it, but is that the part two? Yeah, it's not that great. Nothing to yeah, write home about. Yeah, like, do you here? Let me put it this way: Do you really want to take the chance that they would fuck up the live action? No. Probably, they, no. They probably won't even pick. They, all they usually do is put whoever, like you know, what whoever the machine, the whole you know Hollywood machine decides is popular that year. You know, they yeah. just pick whoever they want to push for that year, for all the spots, and then of course some big names like. You know, like they would probably put Jolie in. I, I see. I, I agree with Angelina Jolie on that. She's got that snarky, no, sarcastic no. personality. No. Mm -mm. Then who would you put? I don't. I don't want to be rude. So I'm not going to say anything. But I do think she was like. I think her role, like, for um, she was meant to be uh, Laura Croft in Tomb Raider, like for sure. And and I haven't okay. even seen the okay. fucking movie. But to be okay. honest, but just physically, physically, like. But physically, she looks like the the chick from Atlantis too. So I mean, she I mean, could she could. You can like make anybody a blonde. You know what I mean? Like you don't need. Well, she doesn't necessarily have to be blonde. I mean, the hair color hair color is like a little bit not like it's not a problem. It's like in The Witcher. I never understood. Speaking of, well, I'm really sad because uh, I don't really have Netflix right now. So if the new Witcher season comes out, sad face. I don't know if they're making one. But everybody was upset that Triss wasn't this redhead, buxom, uh, white chick. I was like, I actually kind of like Triss's actress better in the 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 show. She's pure. But, she's very cute. But they could have left. Okay, so the one you like, the actress, they could have just put made her up like the way Hollywood used to do, <laughs> made her up to look look like the character make nah. her into a redhead with uh, no because i i didn't like tris as a redhead i didn't think she was all that pretty in the game i, I you showed me the picture i don't remember exactly but you showed me her picture one time and i disagree with you I let's, let's looked... put this i think you're thinking of yennefer no 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 i like redheads <laughs> you like the red you like redheads i'm not a huge fan of redheads i am more of a brunette guy See, I think she's way prettier. I, I mean, it is a character. <laughs> We're like comparing a lady, an actual lady, to a character. But I, I, I would have been a hundred percent like in favor of of making either finding an actress that already looks like her, or just making or leave this actress the the one they picked. That's great. Just make her up to look like her as best nah. you can. See, I, I like the I like the 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 difference. Like Yennefer looks like Yennefer, right? You, mm -hmm. I kind of get that. That I'm gonna do whatever it takes, kind of attitude. Um, do, we a, do we have a side by side of her for me? Uh, yes. so this is Yennefer. Okay. So this is Yennefer, and then this is the Triss game. in the game, and then Triss in the TV show. Okay, and Yennefer in the game. Uh. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not. I'm, oh, there I'm it is. Yennefer in the game. I think. Okay, so I feel like she. Oh she wait, no, it. that's that's the that's the Netflix one. Hold on, somebody somebody modded it. Hold on. Oh dear horses. <laughs> we have once again trailed off into a complete and utter fucking just. 
I do want to say one thing about the TV show. Their fashion sense is kind of on point. Their what? Their fashion, like the dresses. I am oh, actually wow. a huge fan. Not because they show a lot of skin. I'm actually a huge <laughs> fan of this blue one right here. That's pretty. <laughs> That's very pretty. I like that. That's it is pretty. That's very pretty. And it's just, I like... Even the witch's clothing, like the, you know, I think senators should wear capes. I know it's a little <laughs> weird, but I think they should because you know, look at Star I Wars: Revenge so. of the Sith. All the senators had capes, and they look badass. I agree. Our senators look I like agree. they're just gonna take your shit and just leave you high and dry. I, I as far as like, <laughs> let's see. So I that's agree. Unifer on the TV show. I think. Look, I'm a fan oh. of, and I'm sure I'll get like, like this is an unpopular opinion, but I don't care. <laughs> We're kind of going for unpopular right now, cause fuck it. Oh, yeah. wait, there's Jennifer. There's Jennifer in the game. Oh, dang. so yeah, I. Th she pretty much. Well, I mean, I mean she, let's see. It doesn't really match, in my opinion. But no, the facial structure is a little off. Yeah. She has a more square jaw, and yeah. she has more like rounded, if that makes sense. Yeah, they, they definitely don't match. The um, nose is a lit like her. The game nose flares out a little bit. Hers mm -hmm. is kind of like skinny. Mm -hmm. The eyes are the same, I would say. But I mean, we're comparing a video game to real life, so it's kind it's gonna be very difficult to get like a perfect, yeah. you know kind of thing but i think they did a very good job like i don't mind the changes she looks white in the game uh yeah she is like a lot of the characters were um yeah I because think, it's um, i think it's like a nordic it's supposed to be like nordic folktale mm. or a derivative of such i think that even though she doesn't really like match she i i i, I think that's a good choice I think she's prettier and, than her game counterpart, actually. Yeah. That's an unpopular opinion among the Witcher fans. See, yeah. I like the TV show a lot more than the like the TV show's portrayals. Like Henry Cavill, I get you know I get uh, the game. I like the game Witcher. Like I like the game Geralt. He's kind of he's kind of cool. I like him, but I, I love know. Henry Cavill's Witcher. Oh, well, that's. I think Plus, Henry Cavill Dang, is way better looking. You don't know if they're coming out with another season? Uh, hmm, let's Google this. Oh, Google. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm sorry. Um, Which is season three? Uh, filming likely begin next month. So... Oh. Looks like they're they filming. Are? Looks like they're filming. Yay. Season three. I'll have to watch. Um, I'm gonna watch those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Ow. I know I have a whole list of stuff to watch, and I just never watch. I mean, honestly, I don't have um, I don't have Netflix at the moment. So mm. I, I would not be. What? Okay, it has not been canceled. Don't y'all do this to my fucking heart, bro. Like this, The Witcher is like one of the few things I actually look forward to. TV, other because otherwise American cinematography fucking sucks. Like, don't get me wrong, I I kind of want to see the new Top Gun. Actually, I don't kind of. I really want to see the new Top Gun. That the the fact that I was always iffy about Tom Cruise, right? I always thought he was a puffed up, arrogant star. Homeboy I mean, is a badass though, <laughs> and here's why. So apparently, in order to get some of the shots for the new Top Gun, he mm -hmm. had to actually fly the F-18. There what? was and it yes. So they had to get their piloting license. Then they had to go through a mini Navy boot camp. So for those who don't understand, the Top Gun is not Air Force. It is Navy. There are naval aviators, by the way. My my grandfather was actually a naval aviator. Didn't fly the really cool stuff. He he was a sub hunter, so that was cool actually. It sounds cool. Yeah, he 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 loved it. He keeps trying to get me and my brother to go to na go into the the military and go navy, but 
The military is not for me. I figured this out a long time ago. But you could I, sail the seven seas. I I, mean, I don't want to be one. I for this this I'm not hating on the military as everybody knows. I love I'm, I support the military, but I don't want to be called seaman for the rest of my life. <laughs> He's kidding. He's... <laughs> That's actually a title. So, yeah, you know, most of you military boys have good sense of humor. Um, yeah. I do this all in fun and jest. I don't like want to shit on you. Uh, no. For those of you guys who don't have a dark sense of humor and don't get senses of humor, I'm making yeah. a joke. Yes, I know you. You've taught me a lot, actually, and and I feel, I feel I, like I have to explain that because I know people, there's a lot of people that are, you know, we post anything because they want to. Everybody people are wants assholes. To be something or other, and you know. Yep. But but yeah, I know you're. You know, you have a, a shit ton of respect for the for Hell the yeah. military and and everybody who serves, and you've actually taught me a lot, and I like I appreciate that. So thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. But, yeah, we, we have totally gone off track. So, <laughs> well, I, I just want to finish that point about Tom Cruise. Like, I I was like, man, this dude's fucking nuts. I I don't like him. He seems like an arrogant asshole. Well, he may be an arrogant asshole. The guy can fly an F eighteen, so he's twenty times better than you, like at least than me. So, <laughs> I mean, and he made every single one of the members of the cast learn how to fly the F eighteen. What? They, they are literally flying the F-18. They might not be doing, like, the combat maneuvers and, you know, all that shit, but they they are flying it for the majority of that film. Massive respect to that. But, but like, when, you know how they have the, uh, the pilot in the front, and then they'll have... They don't have the, a... They don't have a Rio. The, the guy in the back? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's stupid to have actors flying a bunch of. I mean, I get it. They would if they got their license, but still, well, maybe yeah. that's not the safest choice. I don't know. I believe the F eighteen is the one where it's a single pilot. There is no the F 15s had a Rio and a regular pilot, but yeah, they. Yeah, so it's a one-person aircraft. Oh, because, like, maybe they had, yeah, like, they have the pilot actually driving, and then even if for a couple seconds... No, they there's, have... there's videos. Uh, here, hold on. I, I do want to point it out. I just want to show. I have to. Like, that you won't <laughs> believe it until you see it. <laughs> Top. I, well, I mean... Maverick. <laughs> I mean, you can't. It's it's fucking nuts. Uh, let's see. I've never seen that movie either, by the way. You've never seen Top Gun? Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> There's very few things I've actually seen. I I am upset. Oh god, this. Okay, so this is this is this is yeah, from the original movie. Up, I have to show this one because it's such a great fucking shot and it's, it's very this is in theme with the july 4th can i skip this ad like who i, I don't care about any of these tv shows i don't give a straight fuck. Ooh. i'm going for missile lock i don't know this freaking scare this guy in here F-15. I after watching this fucking movie, I wanted to fly an F-15. I know I'm too young. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I when I first saw this movie, the F-18 was being I it was either being phased out or had already been phased out, and the F-18 oh. had been made. Tear. Unnamed bad guy. We they never said the name of the country that they they got into a little skirmish in with. But the MiG is kind of a Russian plane, but it's also very widely dispersed. I believe the F eighteen was which one's designated the MiG Hunter, the MiG Killer, the MiG Killer. <laughs> Sorry, I keep laughing. I believe it was the F-16. 
let's see. Huh. Yeah, F sixteen. Okay. Cool. Alright, what's their position? Seven, this bogey's all over fire. Let's see if we can get the I just loved the wings how it would flex like fling out and whatnot. That shit was so cool. I loved it. We'll get to the good shit right here. Is this your idea of fun, man? Now he's not flipping him off, ladies and gentlemen. He's showing him his pointer finger. Now he's flipping him the fuck off. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now, uh, for context, for those who are watching, who, yeah, now he's flipping him off. Yeah, he's, he's really flipping him off. Like, does not give a straight fuck. Oh no! That that one on my list too. Yeah. All right. Give me one second. I'm gonna pause this. You guys on the on the video won't know anything. I gotta grab some new batteries. All right, we're back, and uh, I grab some new batteries. So yeah, uh, the new the new Top Gun is gonna be, from what I understand, it, it's it's very good. And I'm I'm not gonna go see it in theaters because I mean I'm broke and broke bitches ain't doing shit. So yeah, <laughs> we ain't going to see see that in theaters. And quite frankly, I'm not paying eight dollars for a fucking thing of popcorn and four dollars for a soda. That's some bullshit. Yeah, it's probably um, more than that. <laughs> yeah, and then they got like twelve dollar candy, and you get like the itty bitty bullshit box. It's like, bro, if you're gonna give me, if I'm gonna pay twelve dollars for a thing of candy, give me a big ass bag. Yeah. Side note: I haven't had candy in a while. Good. And uh, I want some fucking candy. No, you I don't could need it. I could fuck up a cookie right about now. Nah, you so. better than it. Yeah, but I mean, it's delicious. <laughs> So I mean I've been I've been doing my blueberries with with sugar. So that's that's been getting me through my my sugar fix and shit. But I, I ran out of blueberries yesterday, so fuck me. Um, what about stevia? Um, huh? you don't like stevia instead mm. of sugar. What is stevia? It sounds like some dude who walked up like, "Hey, stevia, how you doing, boss?" <laughs> it's it's like um, it doesn't affect your body negatively the way sugar does. I mean, does. sugar sugar isn't bad in in moderation. If you like, if you sit there and chug sugar for twenty fucking years straight, you probably gonna lose a foot. Oh my god! <laughs> but you know it is bad though i mean yeah but in moderation like everything's in moderation like obviously ev not everything in moderation i'm not saying like go pound a fistful of crack one day and be okay um no you're probably not gonna be okay <laughs> common sense people common sense uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like i mean you know it's like one of the guys at my gym it's like hmm you're yeah, you're not natural, pal. I can tell you right now, you're 60 years old, jacked. I'm. You you may have the workout routine of Zeus, but you ain't getting that muscle definition. It's like the Liver King. You know who the Liver King is, right? No. Who's oh my that? God, you're in for a trip. Good. He's supposed to right. be watching Fourth of July videos. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Liver King. So this. Uh, why? What the fuck? Yeah. Brian Johnson or TikTok. There we go. So he was trying to say that he is all natural right here. This man. I'm sorry. Your pecs are telling me otherwise. Your angry abs are saying other thing. The vascularness right here says one thing. And the shoulders don't. Yeah, no. I'm sorry, homie. You're not you. When it came out that he was doing steroids, everybody was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it!" I was like, "I knew this from day fucking one." I can tell you right now, that ain't natural. Yeah, I feel like if you're like, you know, if you know, like if you're a gym person or maybe a doctor, like you, you could be able to spot things. Whereas some the definition like on this, the V right here, is is a little too fucking sharp. There, can you zoom in a little bit? I mean, I wish, but no. 
Oh, I like because he has like the veins on his arm. Yeah, they they are angry. Isn't that, isn't that one of the main like things of steroids, or not necessarily? I think it just makes your balls small. <laughs> That's about it. Like, in the, if you're doing like natural steroids, I, I don't know. I thought about it like for five seconds, and I was like, eh, no, we don't have the hearts for this. Don't you do it? I, I mean that literally. We don't have don't. the heart to to do it. Don't. I can't. I die. Okay. Our hearts aren't strong enough for this. Is that scary? That is not scary because with the right diet and exercise, we will be all right. But yeah, he was trying to. He was. This guy was trying to promote that he was all natural and he just ate liver all the fucking time. I was like, isn't liver? It's got it's high in vi it's high in a vitamin. I don't remember if it's like vitamin A or whatnot. But wouldn't you have an overdose of vitamin A or let's say okay, I don't know what vitamin it is. We're just gonna call it vitamin X. So you're gonna tell me you ate like twenty, for instance. I don't know the actual measurements. This is an exaggeration. So you're gonna tell me you ate like twenty pounds of liver per every week. How the fuck are you not dead? <laughs> I like liver, but it, it not that much. It's like I like sushi, not that much. And it has to be the cooked sushi. I ain't getting no sashimi here. If I can throw it, if I can put it on my hook and throw it out and the fish will bite it, I ain't eating it. It's got to be cooked. That's some bullshit. I don't know which one that one is. Sashimi is at completely raw. Oh. Sushi. Sushi can be raw, but there are some versions that are cooked, and I fucks with the cooked stuff. Oh, okay. Um, by the way, liver, it contains significant amounts of folate, iron, vitamin, vitamin B, vitamin A, and copper. Okay, so he would have overdosed on vitamin B, A, iron, and everything. I mean, he would have just fucking died. Right? <laughs> So yeah. you're telling me you ate, you got that jacked by living on the ancestor diet? Bull fucking shit. If that is true, I am seven foot four and hung like a horse. That is, that's, that, that's not how that works. Not also. I mean, every, anything is possible. Anything is possible. But I'm saying there's no way in hell that homie was, if he is natural, then obviously he has the best genetics in the world. Yeah, I mean, look, a lot of people just like, you know, especially, no no offense, like, I mean, there's some good people and some honest people, probably not many, to be honest, but like, um, <laughs> but um, like, it seems that most people, you know, they're just trying to sell you whatever. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's why I follow, and I, this is a shameless, not necessarily, he has no idea who I am. So, no, this guy, he is so transparent that it's not even funny. He is not a natural lifter. Mm. And he's honest about it. I mean, look, respect for the honesty, but I personally just don't, I I don't agree with, or honestly, I don't really appreciate, like, um, any kind of thing that's, like, promoting something that could be... Well, he, and th that's what I'm saying. He's very honest about it because he's like look not everybody can have the body that i have i have really good genetics i also i also fucking juice so not everybody's gonna get what i have but i can show you workouts that are good for you and i can promote positivity and that's why that's why i like him i mean i i definitely respect the 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 honesty and and the and the positivity is always appreciated. So, so just just watch some of his videos, man. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? And then I was like, damn. I'm like, <laughs> I like his shit. <laughs> he's so funny. And he's like genuine about it. Like some some influencers you can see, they're like, oh yeah, you're you're about as fake as you know Barbie's eyelashes. And yeah, there's a that's the thing. I feel like but, most of my we're probably just gonna get today you now because like who the fuck are you ought to be calling other people fake but the thing is like well i mean me personally let's put it let's put it into context i am not fake what you see is what you get i am a loud mouth arrogant mm -hmm. piece of shit no he is i have arrogant. no problems with saying it i don't give a fuck he's awesome like honestly that don't listen he's not an asshole he's i don't he's think nice. you're 
It's, it's, I don't know. I've known I am Erica. <laughs> I am Erica. It is okay. I mean, I guess we can all be arrogant sometimes. Uh, yeah. I'm not narcissistic. I'm arrogant. There's a difference. No, I'm going to be talking to you because you know, I, I don't. There's certain things that I just hate. Yeah, and, I, am, I don't like narcissism. And I don't like yeah. narciss, narciss, narcissistic people. God, sorry, I just said that one three times fast. But. I don't like narcissistic people. I don't like narcissistic people. I don't like narcissistic people. <laughs> See, exactly. But, no, yeah. I'm going to do that, because then I'll do that. Like, okay. it's a thing. Sorry, I Bet. have to. <laughs> All right, we'll put this to the test. Oh, but, my God. But, yeah, no, I, I, I am arrogant. I, I wasn't, I was a college athlete for one season, but I was a college athlete. Did better than most people have ever done. That's not that's not a matter of opinion that is fact a lot of people stop at high school i went further even yeah. less people go further than that i wanted to go that far but ye old head injuries say otherwise i think you made a good choice because i, yeah, I did too <laughs> i don't want to be a vegetable yeah <laughs> for all my life because you know my brain doesn't like me mm. but um yeah, so I mean, I I don't mind calling other people out when I'm like, no, you're fake because you want to look at me, go for it, pal. What you see is what you get. I I'm definitely like, um, I definitely do appreciate the 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 genuineness and the honesty because that is very rare. I know a lot of people portray that, and unfortunately, a lot of like, a lot of people buy into that, but. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I feel like you can tell. Like if you if you're willing to like if you're willing to like watch their content for a little while, you can kind of tell. And yeah. a lot of the the gym influencers, some of you can tell immediately, or almost immediately, who the ones that you don't want to be watching are. Mm -hmm. Who you, the ones like, are absolutely fake? They're posing. They're mm -hmm. doing all this bullshit. They like we have a couple that come to our gym. I am very mm -hmm. much for everybody belongs at the gym. There's a place for everybody. However, mm -hmm. I hate fucking posers. What do you mean? So a poser is a dude who acts like he knows every goddamn thing on the book, right? Oh. He knows every exercise, but he doesn't lift. He never picks up a weight. He just sits there <laughs> and shoots the shit. It's like, dude, we are here for self-improvement. And get shit done. There's one, there's a brother, there's a, there's a duo, it's a brother, it's two brothers. Now, I gotta work out with my brother and my father. Uh -huh. And we kind of like, we, we used to talk to each other, but now we got headphones, so we're just doing our own thing. And, you know, every now and then just like, you got this, bro. Yeah. And we're friends with all the big dudes at the gym who are, okay, if you're ever afraid to go to the gym, Find a really big guy, he'll probably, he at 99.999, repeating, nine. He's going to be the nicest guy out there. I yes. was, I was looking at, uh, I, I was getting into this, like, headspace where I'd do my set and I'd stare off into space or I'd start looking around just, because, you know, I was getting a little bored. Big dude was like, hey man, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about how much you weigh, Look, worry about how much you look, what you look like. I was like, that sounds good. I'm gonna do that. I'm 250. I'm losing the gut. I've got a so I've got a, a layer of fat over my bicep, but it is rock hard. So I'm getting there. My thigh, however, is my claim to fame. I got me some tree trunk legs, so fuck around and find out. I will kangaroo your ass. Hippity hoppity all the way. Let me get my glockity. No, I mean I but, mean, you're working towards your goals, and that is always admirable. So <laughs> that the, the the two brothers, um, it was my it was my brother who was who was benching. My dad was spotting. I was taking a rest because I just I just done my set. I was getting some water. Motherfucker popped up over my shoulder as my brother like my brother explained it. He's like he saw him like hovering behind my dad, and he got like kind of freaked out. So he kind of fucked up on his set. And hit the hit the bottom of the rack. So I, it's not that it wasn't we were doing heavyweight. It just came down unexpectedly. So he was all right. And dude leaned over. He almost took you almost took his head off. It's like who, what, huh? 
Dude. No, we're, we're, he's being spotted. We're okay. I appreciate the attempt at humor. Go. Just, yeah. Get, Fuck off. Get, get, get on. Get on. Go on. Get and the way. It was, it was so annoying because him and his brother take up two, two benches, right? That's mm -hmm. the annoying part. Like, me and my, my, my dad, my brother, and I, there's three of us. We take up one and we just rotate. Every now and then, we'll go off and do our own thing on a different machine, but we'll do that and then come back. Or we'll superset it on one machine and another, but people can use it while we're not using it. Mm. We're not going to be like, no, this is my machine. So, no, yeah. fuck that. Yeah, that seems like, you know. But, I mean, honestly, my biggest, like, it's the thing I love about my gym is a there are so many people who are there for self improvement and it shows like there are people there who are from all walks of life you got you got Mar we've got three fucking marines and good god their work ethic the one of them's a friend of my is now we're friendly with like i was making jokes i was my dad my dad has this thing <laughs> he always does this we see a veteran we thank him for his service mm -hmm. it's what you do you know However, my dad didn't do it when they first when he first found out that guy was a marine. So I, it kind of looked a little fucked up. So I I might have to apologize to him. But I was waiting for my dad to do that. And when he did, he did it like two days ago, and I was like, about fucking time. And it may have looked like I was making fun of him for saying thank you, but I really wasn't. I was like, God damn, he took it fucking long enough. Like, what the shit? Like, this is your dadism. This is your thing, man. And Maybe he just didn't know. No, we knew. I mean, he has a he has a devil dog tattoo. So if you're watching this, buddy, I wasn't making fun of him for saying thank you for his service. I was saying I was making fun of him because he's slow. <laughs> he was slow on the uptake. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think he thought that because we've no. We've actually been joking and said some really fucked up shit to each other. Because uh, no, you know, we all have. Not. We have good sense. We all have a sense of humor, That's and good. we ended it laughing. So I think we're good. Because he's like, you know, he's like, why you got to make fun of me? I was like, well, he's like, he, he looked over to the marines like, can you beat him up? It's child abuse if I, if I do it. I was like, dad, according to mother, uh, <laughs> technically, uh, I, it's not. It's not child abuse because I'm an adult, but I'm still your child. The <laughs> Marine started laughing. He's like, yeah, that's true. That's true. And just walked away. So. <laughs> so, I mean, we, there are, and there's one dude. I was kind of sad I didn't get to see him today. But I knew, he, he said yesterday he wasn't coming. But November, he's like, yeah, man, I'm going to be up in Kentucky. I'm going to be hunting. And da, da, da. I was like, God damn. Uh-oh. You look like you could take on a wild boar on, with your bare hands and come out okay. You grizzly Adams motherfucker. But this dude is huge. And he's he's about my dad's age. I don't think he's juicing, but I'm starting to think Maybe. there's a there's a little juice in there. It's not like he's, you know, injecting in the butt cheek right before he works out kind of uh, thing. But um yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah it, it, everybody in the gym is there for self-improvement and i love that there's That's a lot cool. of new people at the gym which really confused us because this week has not been like our best week for working out because there's been so many new people so mm -hmm. all the shit's taken and it's kind of annoying oh that sucks but hey whatever maybe a new time well we can't we can only go a after five when my dad gets off mm -hmm. but well, it's nice to be back in the gym again because i think the last time i worked out i worked out with and he's actually commented on the channel lindell if you're here i know you want to make videos hit me up bro we will make a podcast <laughs> together um i think the last time i worked out was with lindell about like two months before i left college after that, I was like, fuck it, I'm done. I was like, I was telling this guy today, I was like, you know, I stopped for about two years because like, fuck it, I'm tired of being hungry. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of being sore. And then a year went by, I was like, man, fuck this. I'm getting back in the gym. I miss the gym. I fucking hate it. I, I 
hate work. I, I don't. I hate working out. I don't get oh, any. Kind of oh, don't you, no. you? Don't you? <laughs> don't you worry about it, sweetheart, because it'll come. It'll come to you. I st I hated working out when I first started back. I love it now. It's like a fucking dip. It like you pop a chub every now and then. Like you hit <laughs> you hit two twenty five. It's like oh. Well, I just bought a weight set. Well, not no, okay. I actually bought it, but I just opened it because of things I've been busy. But yeah, I just got to and and yeah. So today's gonna be my first day using my new weight set. So hopefully what are you what are you doing? I'll, I'll be like Wonder Woman. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I mean, um, we're doing back. Yeah, we're like, doing back and tricep today. You doing backs and triceps? I I have no clue. You're talking to like a not very. I'm not. I have no idea. I'm gonna probably because I don't know shit about shit. I'm mm -hmm. gonna probably find um like find like a video. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, look up some videos. I mean, it depends on what you're gonna what you're gonna go for. You know, I I don't know. I think I, I like to think I'm a power lifter, and my family are power lifters. Okay. Oh, no, 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 so, no, <laughs> I'm not thought, powerless. I thought you anyway. said you were going to out bench me. I am, but uh -huh. I'm not yet, because I can't, I can't even, I couldn't lift that if my life depended on it right no now. No excuses, you can, I'm kidding, I know, you gotta build up to it. <laughs> but anyway, well, let's you... get into this video before we derail way, this video is almost an hour long already. I apologize. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's watch this lady fail at skimboarding. And this is obviously in Florida. I can't, I think this is Daytona Beach. I think. Those hotels look very familiar. <laughs> I Honey, you just ate a whole bucket of shit. Oh, yeah, this is gonna go great. Ooh. How's that tasty sand? <laughs> it looks so fun. Why? Why? <laughs> that don't even look fun. That looks like. A bad time. You gonna get like rubber burn on your nipples. They need to throw water on it first. I think so. No oh. dear. No oh, dear. <laughs> Fuck that flag. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love the American flag. I'm just saying that deer has a personal beef with this flag. Really? Bitch. Honey, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, the whole thing's gonna go in. That's my guess. I bet the whole thing's gonna break. <laughs> she, well, she is skinny, but I don't think it is weight approved. No, you may be 150 pounds, honey, but that is probably 140 pounds too much. For a child, and probably not. Ooh. Ooh, your butt bone. Ooh, your butt bone. Oh, I'm sorry, what is this? <laughs> That's what you deserved. What the fuck was that? Oh, that looks fun. It do look fun, but I don't want to do it around a pool. <laughs> it's just funny with good choice a lot of people. Oh, this is funny. Okay, so I have a personal, like, beef with fucking floaties like this. Um, so we went tubing, like, to, like, a month ago, right? Mm -hmm. And one of the springs here in Florida. And what you gotta do is you gotta hop your fat ass into a little little floaty thing and you gotta float down the river. Well, my mother and brother could do it. Me and my father ate shit. Aww. So I had to sit there in the in the cold, cold ass water. I just went through the, the I you know, I, I went through a little donut hole and just like kind of tucked my legs up and just kept my arms and I just was like sitting there like a fucking tire axle. Just sitting there bobbing and weaving. Shit. My dad was doing the same thing, and then we finally get to like a rest stop <laughs> halfway down the river, and me and my dad got on it, and they, you know my brother and mother held the the floats for us, so you know we didn't like just zoom off, and then we just buddied off, we just like drifted down the river. Like I had like one of the best ab workouts of my life because I had to just sit there and like clench, so I didn't move. I didn't. It was enjoyable after like the first five minutes. That sounds. I mean, well, the tubing part sounds fun. I'd like to do that one day. Yeah, my dad was, like, floating close to shore, and he's like, oh, my God, it's a baby gator. I was like, yeah, Dad, oh it's God. natural Florida. What the fuck do you expect? The baby gator doesn't give a shit. There's thousands of people on this thing every day. He don't care. Babies, there's 
mamas. It depends on the size, and it, it's the wrong. It was the wrong uh, time of year. Oh. So it was just it, he had just been born, like two three months ago. And he was growing like he outgrew his mama, and he just like, ooh, this looks nice. Jesus, no! I yeah. would be so out of that water. <laughs> I mean, it was all right. I mean, we could see so. He could see us. We could see him. He was like, "All right, cool, whatever." What? What? How you, what? How you doing, humans? No, no, I'm doing goodbye. That's what I'm doing. Nah, man, you, it's okay. Alligator. I mean, alligators aren't always man eaters. Nah. They're more terrified nah. of you than they are than you are of them. Why would you want to risk losing a toe or something? Because I mean, as long as I don't, as long as I lose, don't lose my big toe, I'm okay. <laughs> what if it tries to get a big toe? Well, then I just can't walk, right? I'll just well, be Doctor House. It ain't worth it, man. I just... It is worth it. You, we live in a we live in a land, or at least for me personally, I don't know about I don't know about where you live, but we live in a land of cocaine, dinosaurs, and fucked up shit. Florida <laughs> is crazy, and you know what? I bet the I feel like the rest of the country resents us because we actually have fun. We don't give a. <laughs> flying fuck about anybody else i mean you do just you mean you mean like you know just we just do our own thing yeah just do your own (laughs) get over it you don't give a fuck of you Uh, okay honey you looks like you have ridden a bull one too many times in your life <laughs> and I don't, when I mean bull, I mean that is a euphem- euphemism. Oh. Hey. <laughs> and it doesn't look like you've ridden it well. Would you stop it? <laughs> Just saying. The fuck is on your hat? Yep. Yep. See. Yep. 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 Oh, lady, you made a you made a very bad mistake. Oh, she has a nice picture. Cool yeah. picture. You have a great video for like four point five seconds. Your cute clothes are about to be salty. <laughs> you know what? I'm not saying that. <laughs> Instantly soaked. Oh no! It, okay, at least it had tin foil on it, so it's safe. The brisket oh. is safe. Grandpa's hip? Maybe not. Oh, I made for you to fall. Oh. I hate beach bikes. That's what you get. <laughs> Tourist. <laughs> Tourista. Why? Ooh, a lazy river. I love those. You're so you're about to see what happened to me. <laughs> yep. Right there. Sunglasses and everything. Oh, you don't. Oh, what? Oh, the puppy wants to join. You about oh, to get you about to go in the drink, homie though. I'm just gonna oh. say this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. Yep, going to swim. Don't be mad at the dog. Oh, I wouldn't be mad at the dog. I'd be laughing. What in the redneck? (laughs) That is a big ass. I can't say I have. Whoa. I don't want to live anywhere that has bears like that. Well, I mean, technically, Florida does. We just don't see them. I don't know. I want to I want to live in a cabin in the woods. A cabin in I mean I I would rather live not necessarily inland of Florida cuz that's just like sentence yourself to hell early. Fuck that. Um cuz there is no breeze. But like one of these like little barrier islands. I buy that bitch up and I build a house on it and ain't nobody to ever see my ass. <laughs> oh, just lovely. Of course, when I have to go get groceries, obviously, when I have to go get groceries and, you know, family comes over, they just got to get on their little boat and come over. That's... I'd have, like, an ancient Roman-style villa oh, with the that's... open courtyard and everything. Granted, I don't know if you could do that with having, with, like, hurricanes and shit, but, you know, that's a problem for future me. Uh, housekeeping. Hey, get out of there. What the fuck? Go on. I would be terrified. I can't say I have done that. I've been swamped before, in the middle of yeah, in the middle of a we're close to shore and the uh, Indian Atlantic River. 
um, some jackass in a speedboat caught me. I was trying to turn, and you know, because I'm a big boy, it takes a little bit to turn in a kayak. And as as I was trying to turn, uh, the waves hit me broadside, and I ended up just shifting my weight a hair too much, and mm. I I started to flip. So I kind of like pull. I, I just. I don't know how I did it, but I was like, <laughs> my brother was like, hey, you okay? I'm like, I'm going in the drink. And I just fell into the water. <laughs> so after that, we had the, the daunting task of getting the kayak out of the water and then oh. just going to shore. And it, we were already heading back anyways, but this jackass was, I mean, he in a no wake zone, he opened it up and just fucking flipped me. You I was pissed. Oh yeah, for sure. Guy with a speedboat, he's a dick. Fuck him. Yeah. So I have done. I have not done like that. I was able to get out, but. Ouch. <laughs> but yeah, that 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 bottom was very like muddy and mushy, and I was not very happy. Oh. <laughs> she about a whiskey throttle right into her husband's ass. <laughs> Yep, I told you. What happened to turning, lady? <laughs> yeah, for real. Why are all the animals saying fuck the American flag? It's I not very American of you. <laughs> Why do you have so many seagulls around you? Oh, you got food. I don't like seagulls. I gotta say. What, they can fly? They're rats with wings. Yeah. <laughs> now that looks fun. That's a ton of people. Uh oh. That oh, drone. Oh. Yeah, this is gonna go great, pal. Oh! Oh! How does how does ruining four like two thousand dollars feel? What are you doing, buddy? Let's get up. <laughs> get out of the way, you idiot! <laughs> I feel that. Like they're having I mean, yeah. Oh, that looks kind of fun. Whatever, just get to the water. Go for it, Gramps. Oh. Ooh, belly flop. That is it. You are done. Oh, my PJJ. I don't even have one, and that hurts mine. Hey, there's a girl behind you. Oh, he's like that one right there. On. Touristas don't know how to I walk sure at the beach. <laughs> well. That was more like what happened to me, actually. Aww. So, I, this isn't this is, wasn't for Fourth of July, but this is for Memorial Day. Um, mm. there was some funny shit. The the beach stuff reminded me. I don't know why it reminded me because we weren't at the beach when this happened. We were actually at my house, <laughs> the house that I I had. That I live with uh, her. We'll just be nice about it and call her her. And one of my other, well, former friends. Uh, that's a fun fucking story, but you know what? Hey, whatever. I mean, Y'all have fun together. Fun. Bitches. Um, so this is before all the shit happened with those two. May you have a long and luxurious life together. Good luck, Buttercup. <laughs> She's fucking crazy. So we were we were just sitting there for Memorial Day. My 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 homies came over, and one of them, who is now stopped drinking, I actually talked to him yesterday. Good for you, by the way. The right woman will change your life. The wrong woman will ruin your life. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so be careful. I feel like he's found the right woman. So she got him to stop drinking, which was fan fucking tastic. I'm glad. That's awesome. Very proud of him for that. So Andre, if you're watching this, congratulations, pal. We are very proud for proud of you and for you. So we, <laughs> um, we were sitting there on my back porch, and he pulls out Jaeger. It's like okay, cool. I've got some Corona in the fridge. Cool. I've got some whiskey in the cabinet. Cool. Oh no. Um. So we were just shooting the shit, 
Oh my okay. God. And one of our the guy, one of the guys on the, you guys know him in Discord, Zach. He oh, was yeah. there. And he was doing his like his best Italian impression, and we were just we were just having fun. At some point, he oh. not not Andre, the other guy, he who shall remain nameless, mm-hmm. for I don't want to slander yeah. him. I don't want to bring him up. I don't want to bring her up. End of that. So he decided it would be a good idea after a few drinks to make a crackhead lighter. Uh, what do you mean? So you know those old disposable Bic lighters that have the uh, the dial and how big you can make the flame, right? Oh, yeah. Well, if you break it in the right way, you make a sword with it. A gigantic f- plume of fire. I don't know if the landlord ever found out about this. I left when the lease was up and she dealt with the renegotiations because she wanted to keep the house. I left and said, fuck that. I'm out. Um, Good luck driving to work. Because I had the car. He didn't. So um, the, he kind of scorched a... A, a nice, perfect circle on the ceiling of my patio. Oh, As I remember looking up thinking, huh, crackhead lighter. Funny. <laughs> That's not all, though. So as we get more into our cups, we get drunk. Because, I mean, we we have whiskey, we have Jaeger, we have beer, we have everything known to man, right? And we're just oh, drinking like God. fish. <laughs> Having the best time of our lives. Um, as I think actually, I think they all stayed at my house because we got so fucking drunk. I just remember she was not very happy with me in the next morning. And, uh, so apparently at some point, I don't know how this happened. I was already gone by this point. We were actually all gone at this point. <laughs> um, I remember vaguely he was saying, Hey, um, I want to, I want to have like a bonfire in your backyard. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's going to be great. Oh wait, I don't own this house. I can't, we can't have a bonfire. We're under a, a no fire warning because you know, it hadn't rained in like three months. So oh. everything was like a tinder box. So I was like, okay, if we're going to do this, I have a grill. I have a cheapo grill. We can put like a little bit of fire in there, but I want you to go fill up that, um, uh, that, spare trash can we have with water so in case shit gets out of hand we can just dump the trash can on the the fire and out goes the fire i was like i'm just being smart i'm thinking ahead yeah well apparently that didn't work there is a there was when i left this is about about two years ago there was a perfect circle where that grill had stood a fire like a ring of fire uh and that trash can did not yeah that, that thing was still full the next morning and yeah i don't know how it happened but yeah apparently we caught the yard on fire oh put it God. out somehow and then we all went back in for burger like i was cooking the entire time this was happening on my uh, my actual like good grill uh, i left there because yeah, fuck it. I'm not taking that shit with me. I had like four. I had like an hour maybe to get all my shit out and leave, because I was just done. I didn't want to. I didn't. I waited till she wasn't home. Have fun. Good luck. <laughs> you made a Facebook post about me. I saw it. Fuck you. Uh, I saw you about two, three months ago, right before. Or no, about a about a year ago. I was cordial. Fuck you. Still. Have a great life. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> you can get pissy at me because you did some dirty shit. So, mm. and don't you be coming up in my comment section either. I will get you banned from my comment and section. I want none of your shit in my shit. I mean, it's good. It's good because you're in a way better place. I can and... joke about it now because I'm in a better place. So. Suck on these, bitch. <laughs> no, don't. No, don't. They don't and spin. No, don't. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, apparently we caught the yard on fire, and I woke. I remember like we had the master bedroom because it was it was it was our house, right? It was mine and her house. So we were waking up with. I have these American 
flag, uh, had this American flag bathing suit that I wore. I don't know how, but it had gotten stained, and I, I, ha I still have them to this day. I can't get the stain out. I have washed them numerous times. I don't know what I spilled on them, but they they have now been thrown away because we went deep sea fishing and they got absolutely rancid. So oh, that no. that that was that was the end of those. Mm. There was a black mark on the pavement of my patio from fire. Oh my there God. were empty Jaeger beer beer bottles because I don't be, I don't drink beer cans. Beer cans are nasty. Um, but beer bottles everywhere, and there was like one like I had a very expensive whiskey that was fucking gone. It was delicious, <laughs> and I remember she was so pissed off. She, I was like. <laughs> We have fun. No one died. We didn't burn down the neighborhood. We're okay. Waking up, I'm, I wasn't even hungover because I drink. Okay, here, kitties, uh, for for you who are of twenty one years or older, the mm -hmm. secret to not getting a hangover: drink a fuck ton of water before you go to bed. Guzzle that shit like a dying camel in the Sahara Desert. They ain't gonna be like pissing all night. Oh yeah, but it'll be worth it in the morning. <laughs> like, you trust me on this. I have done this multiple times and I have not had a hangover. That's As a matter good. of fact, the one time I didn't drink a lot of water, I hated my fucking life the next morning. Oof. Yeah, so I... drink water before you go to bed. <laughs> it'll help you. But I found out in the process, I really like rum. Oh, no. I love rum. My grandfather, and this is a segue, you know, we, we got to wrap this up soon. But I took a picture because I, I finally found the fucking rum oh, that my grandfather yeah. had that was so good we drank the entire bottle in one night. It was, I believe it was Myers Rum, original Jamaican rum. Mm, Imported. Sounds. It's got the Jamaican seal and everything. And that <laughs> bitch was gone. I love some rum. I, I mean, maybe I would try it one day, but I don't know. Try, try a sippy seal. Just try a seal. Because oh Jamaican God. rum isn't for everyone. Why? like spicy i mean it's not spicy but it's got a heat to it like you know you drink in alcohol it's mm. not like it's not like a silent but deadly like it's a it's a smooth drink like no it, it's got a little bit of a throat burn but it tastes good i didn't even i normally mix my whiskey with like mountain dew because i'm a pleb i drink that shit straight that's how good that shit was it was good. I know I just made myself sound like a raging alcoholic. A little bit. But I'm not. I actually don't drink a lot. I rarely drink. I can't afford the extra calories. <laughs> so yeah, that was my that was my funny Memorial Day story. And I remember I had to go to work the next day. Like the oh like the day after I had a hangover, mm -hmm. and we had drank the night before too, because we were like, "Fuck it, let's just have a great weekend." And again, she was not happy, but as I established, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I loved her at the time. I was a very good, and nice person to her at the time. Now I could give two shits because, well, I, there's a reason I moved out of that town. A good reason. And it's a very good fucking reason. And I love where I live now. And it's definitely there. helped my mental state. Yeah. But, um... I'm glad, I'm glad you're in a like, much better place. And I Honestly, I am too. But here's the funny thing. So, I walk into work the next day, hungover. I have my sunglasses on. Now, I don't normally wear sunglasses or a hat in... Well, I wear a hat in the building because... I don't get that whole rule of don't wear a hat inside. Now, bitch, fuck you. I won't wear a hat. <laughs> um, 
So I, I had sunglasses on. I normally have a very clean and presented look at work. I had to wear a monkey suit, or at least half of a monkey suit. I wore the dress shirt, the slacks, and the pants, and the shoes, right? So my shirt was untucked. The I had it done, uh, unbuttoned down to the second button. The sleeves weren't cuffed like I normally had them. They were rolled up, and they were at uneven lengths. I just looked like shit. And I felt like shit. That was the one and only time I have had a hangover. And I had to go to work the next day. Oh, and I'm just saying this, I can smell the alcohol. Is that weird? No. I have it, no it's... I have no alcohol in front of me. But I can smell the I can smell the James or the the fucking Jack Daniels. I can smell the yeah. Yeah, the Jaeger. And I can smell the corona. <laughs> Like I just, I, that's why I, if you're watching the video, I just like looked around because I was like, I smell alcohol. Where's that from? There's no alcohol on my desk. I haven't drank in three weeks. <laughs> what? Oh but my God. That was such a, like they, we all had to go to work the next day and we were just like, fuck it, full send it. If that was, that was the most Florida attitude I've ever had. Well, I am a very big Floridian. Cause I just like fuck it, let's send it. Mm -hmm. Um, so we full, we full sent that bitch, and that was like one of the most fun weekends I've ever had. But yeah, other That's weekends awesome. I can't really talk about because YouTube doesn't like talking like people talking about that, so we're not going to. But it was also a fun weekend, but for different reasons. <laughs> Just as my, just as a friendly reminder to my YouTube uh, manual reviewer, hi, I am not promoting doing drugs or alcohol. I am not saying that at all. I am just merely showing as an educational purpose how to not have a hangover. Yep. That's all. All right. Now that we're done bullshitting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think the, <laughs> this is a, this is a, a college story and I can't really talk about why I was like this because YouTube doesn't like it but I can tell you the conversation that went down so um, it was a very funny conversation with one of my roommates when I was in college I had just come home for the week from the weekend I had a bag of Doritos in one hand a Dr. Pepper in the other <laughs> now for those of you who've never had the munchies and know why you get the munchies me for certain reasons that i cannot say uh, i have not done any of that i am a child of god okay despite what the story will say so i walk in and my roommate's cooking dinner i have a bag of cool ranch doritos in my hand and a half drink dr pepper and the other and he looks at me he said hey are you okay i can't really say what he said because again you know, mm -hmm. I mean, hey, I was like, hey, you good? I was like, yeah, bro, I'm fucking great. I was like, what you cooking, bro? He's like, I'm cooking rice because we're poor. I was like, right <laughs> on, bro. For real. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that, bro. He's like, yeah, no. He's like, what are you doing, bro? Are you okay? I was like, I'm fucking great. I'm going to go to my room. I'm going to go to our room. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go to bed, bro. He's like, all right, man, I'll. I'm gonna probably come in at like 10 o'clock. I was like, hey, Bo, you do you. I'll be asleep either way. <laughs> He's like, okay. So I leave my chips on my side of the desk and I finish the Dr. Pepper. Like, our room wasn't necessarily like the cleanest. Like, our room room wasn't the cleanest, but it was okay. For a guy's dorm, it was pretty clean. We had one of the cleanest dorms of the freshman class. Actually, we had the cleanest dorm of the freshman class because I told my roommates, I was like, I ain't paying no $20 fucking extra fee. We cleaning this bitch with a toothbrush if we got to. <laughs> so we did. And so another, another guy, like one of my roommates left, the guy who's in the story left. Mm -hmm. um, but as I'm walking into the room, my other roommate, JP, he walks out, takes one look at me and says, Hey, 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 you feeling good? I said, "Hey, yeah, bro." I just walk my happy ass into the into the room, and I lay down and I go to sleep. It doesn't end there. Next morning, I wake up. My bag of chips is gone. No. 
I'm still a little up there, right? And just for clarification, it's nothing horrible. Nothing. I wasn't doing anything bad. Like, will kill me bad. It was a little bit of happy stuff, okay? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> How my friend got home, I have no idea. I don't know if he, he may have stayed in the parking lot and just slept it off. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I wake up and I'm still like, I got to go to class in like 20 minutes and I'm still mm -hmm. like up there. Right. Mm -hmm. And I feel good. So I look over and I'm like, where are my cool ranch Doritos? And I see him on my roommate's bed. No. And it's the, I was so angry. I walk over and I shake him like, how the fuck, how dare you eat my fucking shit? He's like, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. I just, oh. <laughs> just scare oh. the shit out of him. I was like, how dare you fucking eat my chips? And I call my, my friend. And I'm like, bro, can you admit this is such a fucking travesty? Can you believe? And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? I was like, he ate my fucking chips, bro. <laughs> and my friend just starts laughing. He's like, I'm going back to bed. I was like, fuck you. Oh my god. Then why did you go off like that? Because he ate my fucking chips, bro. And I had the munchies. <laughs> and we laugh about this now. And it was a laugh. Like five minutes later, it was a laughing matter. Because obviously I was still up there, yeah. right? So it was funny. So I go to I go to class all pouty. And my teacher's like, yo, you okay? I was like, he ate my fucking chips, man. I'm great. They're like, are you okay? I was like, I'm fucking fine. I don't want to talk about it. Like, I was legit butter that he ate my fucking snack. Oh my and he God. didn't even did ask. He, did he ever replace them? No, he didn't replace it. I told I told him not to because it was all right because he didn't he didn't like rat me out because technically what what I was I wasn't doing anything hardcore. Again, I want to reiterate, just a little happy stuff. Just a little happy nug, okay? Just a little happy nugget, okay? <clears throat> because technically, that could have gotten me kicked out. Because, you know, they were all about the... You can't drink or smoke. You can't. You have to get a special permit to cook with alcohol. Oh, you can't, what even, even if you're 21 on that campus, you couldn't drink. I was like, man, fuck this. When I turn 21, I'm getting wasted. And I did. <laughs> I don't remember my 21st birthday. That's weird. According to a lot of Americans, that's how they all celebrate their 21st birthday. Very mm. few people remember their 21st birthday. I didn't do anything. <laughs> My work, I was working when uh, I, I turned 21, and they gave everyone in the office, brought me a small little shot of alcohol. Um, and they that's... said, you can't have this right now because you're on the clock, obviously. And you can't drink this until you get home. But um, uh, you better come in hang hung over, or you're gonna be in sh in the shit. I was like, oh <laughs> I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that, pal. So That's my awesome. all my friends came up, and we just we sat there and drank. Like we all my friends and I are a different group of people. Like we we prefer to stay in and drink with our friends rather than go out to a club, because a yeah. lot of us are ready to settle down. A lot of us are ready to be, you know, husbands, fathers, and stuff like that. And we're, we're relatively young. Like, I'm 23. Um, my buddy is 22. And we're looking to start our lives. We don't want to sit here and be partying all the time. Like, we, we can party at our own house. Like, And yeah. as a matter of fact, we had a, we had a cop. Come, he was like, hey, you drinking? And this was when I was 19. And I own, I, I had a lease in my name. And everything. I was like, no. He's like, it's your property, buddy. I don't give a fuck what you do on your property. Just don't make it my problem. I was like, bet. <laughs> Facts. I can like, I like you, officer. He, he, you were underage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was yeah. 19 years old. He knew that. He probably knew we were drinking that night. But I, I didn't want to say yes. But yeah. he's. That's why he was like, I don't give a fuck what you do. So yeah, it wow. was just a, there was so I, much. I, I don't have like all that fun stuff. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have fun memories or good 
times like that. Like, I didn't do shit for my 21st birthday. Like, I'm telling you. I mean, alcohol isn't bad. Like, P they portray it really bad, right? I mean... It, it's, okay. If you are a, a drunk, you drink all the time, you're an alcoholic, and you're a violent person, you, it's bad. But a beer every now and then isn't bad. I think everybody should try alcohol at least once. I think I'll try it at least once, but I was excited about trying it at least once, but now I, I'm i not so excited, to be honest. Like You gotta do it with the right people. It's like with other the other thing that I mentioned. Uh, you gotta do it with the right people, you know? But the first time I ever did that, uh, I was with my friends, and we were sitting on the couch watching... I don't remember what the fuck we were watching... Well, we were watching something. No, no, I, I, that was the last time. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in... I, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I would recommend doing that. Actually, I wouldn't... I, no, I don't recommend doing that because, you know, that what? recommends people doing a certain thing. But, Why? yeah. Because YouTube says I can't recommend... Yeah, no, oh, I don't oh, recommend oh. doing any of it, okay? Right. Learn right. from my life decisions. So, well, yeah. I... I I'll probably someday. I mean, I honestly, I would, I would say everybody at least needs to try it. Anyway, <laughs> we have derailed so much. Oh, I'm sorry, God. I interrupted you. What did you? What were we you going to say? We we have the worst. We we have a hard time staying on track. Oh, for sure. And I'm sure Lindell, if you watch this, you can put some stories in the comment, or if you want to wait to do like a podcast until you're ready. And you, we can we can just tell stories like uh, the time our coach got Taco Bell for us on a twelve-hour bus ride. Bad choice. Choice. <laughs> or I don't know if he. I don't think he was staying in the room with me. No, it was it was me, Andrew, and fuckface JP. <laughs> I don't like that guy. There's reasons, um, but he he had a problem with me from pretty much day one. I tried to be nice, and then I was like, "Fuck it, I got a problem with you now." Like you, yeah. Well, fuck him. Yeah, but <laughs> he him. he refused. Like he his feet smelled so fucking bad. He was like, "Ah, oh, I'm not gonna take a shower." Thinking he was all funny. I was like, dude, I will put you in a headlock and drag you into the the fucking thing. And he was like, "No, you won't. You won't do that." Yes, I will. And I did, and I told him to go take a fucking shower because his feet stink, and I wasn't going to sleep with that bullshit. Oh that was the same. God. That was the same night me and Andrew cuddled. <laughs> because Coach didn't book enough rooms. Oh my god! You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> and it scared the shit out of him, and I warned him. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue with this video. That's another story. That's, those are from when I was playing soccer. Ooh. Those look very fun to ride. Mm -hmm. I want to ride them. Well, that bell, that Hi. cast, why that cast iron bell looks very fucking heavy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it is. Let freedom ring, baby. Oh, huh? oh. oh, you know. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. I'm a child of God. Nope. I refuse to. Because I don't want to get this video demonetized when I start making some money. Okay. You got this, pal. I believe in you. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. You got to get a wider base. Ooh. That looks fun, though. What the hell, lady? Have you not checked your damn grill? Oh, look at the baby what? bird. Is, bird? bird? is that a bird? It is oh, a baby bird. Oh, oh how oh, adorable. Please. She's gonna kill. Nope. I don't think so. Oh, God. Right on the gravel. What the fuck? That's not oh. smart. That's not wise decision making. That was the most limp-wristed dive I've ever seen in my life. It's fucking weird. No. 
Oh, this is pretty cool. Nice. It is a pretty horse. Yeah, just walk it off, pal. You are way too drunk. I'm fucking sorry. What? Nice. By the way, ladies and people, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I want to hear what you guys are doing for July 4th. I don't think we're doing anything this year. Yeah. Shocker. Uh, I know, surprise, surprise, but I, I don't really, we might grill out and shit, but I don't think we're going to be doing much this year. That's good. That's classic. I feel like that's what most people do, just do a nice, like... Well, I mean, our neighbors are going to take care of the fireworks for us. That shit's expensive. Yeah. So, I mean, it we'll is. just watch the free sh free fire show and, you know, have a great day. Yeah. But, um... I wanted to point out, you know, you, I, if you guys really enjoy this con, this content, it would mean a lot if you guys would subscribe. I know I say it in every video, but I, I did a little bit of looking. It was like ninety eight point ninety nine point eight percent of people who view this don't subscribe. Uh, hitting that red button would do a lot, do a hell of a lot of good for the channel. Back to your regularly scheduled content. Now, pan, now my begging is over. No, it really does. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for everybody who is subscribing. That ended not well. Oh, yeah, buddy, you popped the shit out of that. You know what? Props for you going out in that storm. It is a little bit chilly. Nope. And it cooked out in that storm. Ain't gonna do it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad I got it on video. There she goes. I told her to blow it up a little bit more. Like, this lady is so dejected with this person who's in the float. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Smile, damn. Yeah, it was <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you wearing actual clothes into because a pool? He thinks that he's not gonna flip over, but he's sorely mistaken because he's gonna flip right over. <laughs> that that was just asking for trouble. You wear a bathing suit. Oh yes. No. Like, no, that dog actually looks sad. Oh, you took my special. Hat. You took my hat, me bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he floats. Oh God. <laughs> Your poor ankle. Um, friend, how did you fall in the first place? Was this more of like a dramatic? I think so, because he it wasn't even going that far. Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, oh. those are those are those are tourists, because you know they have a they have a beach umbrella, you know. Real Floridians get that get that nice vitamin D or whatever yeah. the sun gives you. Melanoma. <laughs> oh my god, no! Just kidding, just kidding. That's why I hate seagulls, assholes. <laughs> to look out for him like keep him healthy <laughs> nah bro they're stealing your damn food we'll watch I mean, one more because we took or we did we did talk a lot but oh, we'll like, watch we'll watch only half because uh this video is quite long and it's almost six o'clock in the morning for me it is oh oh I actually have a story about that. Wait. So, what just happened there? Alright, pay attention. I actually have a story that's very similar to this. And there's two versions. One, my version, and the one the family says. Okay. So, the story of this is, it's 4th for, it's of July, right? We're at my grandfather's house. When he was still, when he was still here. Ah, God, there's the soul. So... We had, it was every year we had this amazing firework. Like, we went all the way up until the cops were called, right? Because we were doing a noise complaint. My uncle went out and spent thousands of dollars on fireworks. Oh and it was, God. like, the biggest thing of the entire street. Like, he was the only one who lit off fireworks, and all the rest of the street just watched. Wow. We have caught the woods on fire. We have caught my grandfather's lawn on fire, the front and the backyard, multiple times. Oh my god. We have played Roman Candle Tag, which is fun. Just don't wear a cotton shirt. Sounds dangerous. 
I mean, yeah. Just don't aim for the face. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so, I mean, the fire show, or the fireworks show was amazing, right? So, it was the first year that we were old enough to light the fireworks. Or at least I was, I was and my, my younger cousin. Um... We were both old enough to light the fireworks. She would light one, I would light one, and then, you know, it would. That's how we went. Well, I had I had put one in one like one of the mortars in in one of the tubes, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it it we had to hang fire. It did not go up, so I went over to kick it out, you know, oh kick it God. to make sure it was out. Yeah, that's when it excited to do the explodey. So I saw this bright white flash and my family says I jumped into a bush because I couldn't see where I was going. I say, however, the more cooler version is the explosive, the concussive force pushed me back into a bush. That's the one I'm going with. I don't care. I was also like 10 at the time. So, you know, that wasn't on camera. It was on camera, but we don't, I don't know whatever happened to it. Oh. Uh, that it was it's been lost to antiquity. <laughs> so and it was filmed on the you know the old 2010 fucking phones you know the ones yeah. that were so grainy you can't see yeah, so yeah. all you oh. can see is me go to kick it over and then boom and then you see me in a bush. <laughs> that's about it. So that that's my story. I, I love that. <laughs> so yeah, that was and then I did catch. Uh, the yard on fire one year, but that was like a rite of passage. My my grandfather didn't actually care because he owned like three acres of land, so it was kind of like whoa. And my other uncle was a firefighter, so it, we had it under control. Yeah, that's convenient. <laughs> we, yeah, we were good. Uh, my mother has lit the yard on fire. My father has lit the yard on fire. My grandfather had lit the yard on fire. My uncle, numerous times. I had done it twice. Aww. Uh, I lit the front and the backyard on fire. I want to light a yard on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be an arsonist today. It sounds fun. <laughs> it does, you know? Fuck it. So, yeah, that, that was... That was... Oh, that was so fun. Oh it's first time I ever had a drink, too. At his house. <laughs> This is gonna end up. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Listen, Rusty. Oh shit. Oh, that was really lackluster. That wasn't really deserving the oh shit that's that you gave. Yeah. I've taken shits bigger than that. Oh, this is gonna go great. Tanks. Oh. I love those little tanks. They're cool. Yeah. But your phone is now effed. <laughs> love those little tanks. They're cool. I love the ones that like spin around and can they can kind of like chase you. Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think it was just like a dud, maybe. <laughs> I'm not 100 percent sure. Is there a firefight going on, or is there fucking fireworks? What the hell is going on? Here? I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, I mean, I can't really tell because this is filmed on a potato. Okay, this is kind of like the land that my grandfather had, except the shed was an actual barn, and it was way bigger, and terrifies me to this day. For reasons I won't get into. It, abs it absolutely terrifies me. Let's see. Sorry, I had to mute it for a second. Oh, it's all good. And I'll, I'll tell you, I'll do a basic synopsis. The reason it terrifies me is that place is haunted. I don't care oh what people say. It's fucking haunted. I have seen some things at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning that cannot be fucking explained. I, I have seen things at 6 o'clock in the morning and in that barn that make no fucking sense. So yeah, we definitely have to do a spooky stream because I want to. I want to hear your stories again, 
And now I get to join you this time, so. Well, I can tell you one really quick. Uh, and the short story of it was my cousin was, uh, was visiting, uh, was visiting my uncle. My uncle didn't have, doesn't have, or did not have full custody of his daughter. Mm -hmm. It's a whole nother story. Um, but I won't get into that anyway. So I thought she had gone downstairs because there's an upstairs and the downstairs and me and my brother were staying on the couch. Because, you know, the guest bedroom was taken by my cousin. And so I had thought she came downstairs to get a drink and was just walking to see what we were doing. I was like, hey, cousin, what you doing? And she's like, oh, nothing. Da -da. And then she turned around and walked through a fucking wall. That's insane. That's and that's like when I realized I wasn't talking to my cousin. I was talking to a Civil War nurse. That's like... That's insane. Yeah. I didn't have my contacts in, so I just assumed it was my cousin wearing a white nightgown. Which was weird, because my cousin is kind of goth. <laughs> white is not in her repertoire. So I was going to ask her about it, and then I, when she walked through the wall, I was like, oh. Never mind. <laughs> gotcha. I understand oh. now. I get you. But the, the property, oh. the entire property was haunted, not just the main house, the entire property. Now, what was really fucked is when we went back to visit, they had tore down the, the woods that held the Confederate graveyard. The mm -hmm. reason that the property was haunted, a company had decided they were going to build a subdivision out there, and they tore the woods down. Yeah, that'll do it. And yet, no, this was, this was, this was like three years ago, right? It was when they did that. All my life, I had been seeing shit in that house. Before, even when the woods were still standing, and even still when the woods got tore down. It's really weird not seeing those woods, by the way. Like, you go 20 years seeing woods behind your grandfather's house, and then you pull up and there's no woods. You're like, what the fuck happened? Yeah. Um, hmm. I, yeah, I've never had any kind of experience like that, but I've had numerous I, in that in that house. I feel like, uh, yeah, because I know you, you would probably not be like, oh yeah, I'm lucky I get to experience that, right? No, no, you, I, it, it, okay. So as long as they're not mean, okay, mean spirited, hardy, har har, pun intended, it's okay. <laughs> However, it will freak you the fuck out when you're like eight years old, right? Oh, yeah. that, that's kind of freaky. Oh, and, you yeah. know, now that I'm 23 years old, it's still freaky, but it's like, oh, yeah, it's haunted. They're doing this to fuck around. Those, I think, I think my grandfather had a deal with those fucking ghosts. <laughs> the sneaky man, he, he, he denied it to the day he died. That house is haunted. That the house was haunted. No. Denied it. He knew. He had to have known. Yeah. He longer. They didn't. They didn't fucking do. They didn't do anything to him. They only did shit when we came around. So maybe, he had. He was like, maybe, yeah, like prank the prank the grandkids, prank, prank everybody. Don't fuck with me, or I'll get your asses evicted. <laughs> maybe the you just it's your your aura. You I fucking I doubt it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Because it, it's happened to my dad, it's happened to my mom, it's oh. happened to my uncle, it's happened to everybody in that house but my grandfather. Wow. wow. Maybe he just doesn't want to tell, didn't want to tell y'all. No, I think he was just fucking with us. Because he, he was notorious for that. Sneaky uh -oh. bastard. <laughs> I like how this man... Whoa. How's your feet there, man? <laughs> Oh my. I love how it just like faded to black, like we have no idea what's going on, but we can hear what's going on in the. You can hear it in the background. Like, oh my god, everything! Wow, that's a very vibrant orange. Yes. I love it. You're an idiot. You're supposed to. Wow. Okay. Don't even try to like move away, right? Let go. It exploded in the tube. No, no. 
I I don't know what just. Oh, no. You're about to explode. You're an idiot. Light this Roman candle. I mean, bottle rocket. Bottle rocket, rum and candle. I mean, hey. All right, kids. This is how you. Oh, you, you can't do that at the beach. Get back a little bit. I thought it was cool until you did it at the beach. You can't do that. At least in Florida. You gotta get like a spit. Unless you get like a special permit. Well, this looks unsafe. Oh my god. I hope you have some non flammable clothing. No, if that's the going like, fuck that, I would be so out of there. I'm not gonna get, like, I'm not gonna get third degree burns because people are stupid. I wouldn't. I mean, it's. Oh, no. I don't like it. Oh, Whoa. no. Oh. oh, no. Well, it looks like that rooftop is kind of fun. I think they lit them all off at. It, one triggered everything. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, mm, pretty. That is very pretty, actually. I'm enamored. How do you- how can you tell I have ADHD? Pretty lights and colors enamor me. I like those. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. There's someone there at the stairs. Yes, sir. Oh. oh, there we go. There's the big finale. The crescendo, if you will. Huh? I said no, like you went ahead. I have to, otherwise I'm gonna get- you know, YouTube's not gonna be very handy. Not like anything in this video has made you two very happy. I have said fuck one too many times, bro. Okay. Oh. We got a we got a wool. Okay, why is this shot on a potato? <laughs> I see why it's shot on a potato. <laughs> Run, motherfucker! If you value your feet, run. You're a limp dick firework. Jesus. Morning. My alarm to wake up just went off. So we gotta yeah, we gotta end this pretty soon. Oh, look at that. I see you hear it. Oh, I have it. I don't have it like super loud because I didn't hear it. Ninja didn't have it. I see. I'm just kidding. I see here. You may not know this, but these people. Oh my God, that is very high, and I just had my no. Uh oh. I. So, oh my God. Skip instead. Little known secret about me. Mm -hmm. Really a secret. I fucking hate heights. Even in videos, oh. it just like sets me off. If I if if my family my family knows this, and sometimes I think they do this on purpose. And they're coming mm -hmm. in to visit, they get the top floor of a hotel. In Florida, we have really big hotels. Oh. So I I have I will not walk close towards the rail. I will walk with one hand firmly on the the wall. That's good. Like anyway. guiding, and I will ref I will look straight on. I will not look over the rail. I will not do it. It just drives me absolutely. It it just sends the little caveman part of my brain up the tree. Dang. We, we are very different in that way. I mean, I used to actually love heights, but I don't wouldn't say I love them now, but I would still do some some a lot of height stuff. I would I'd I, I don't I don't like roller coasters for one of two reasons. I don't like the fact that gravity is just that's the only thing that's holding me onto the track. Mm. Um, and two, I don't necessarily trust them, especially now 
with all the stuff that's coming out. I don't trust that bullshit. Yeah, I I used to. I mean, I never really got got to go, but like I I would. I was like, hell yeah, I would do that. Like, oh yeah, like <laughs> take me because I want to go. I've been but on like, the tallest roller coaster in Florida and in the wow. in the south of the United States, and it was great That's until awesome. I couldn't breathe, and that scared the shit out of me, and I refused to get on another roller coaster. Well, so. yeah, I I I wouldn't. Yeah, I would. I oh, sorry, I didn't <laughs> know that was gonna be that loud. I was just trying to see what we were gonna get into. Um, and did a fucking cannon go off? <laughs> it seems, seems like it. Continue, sorry. Oh, uh, no, I was just gonna say, like, uh, um, yeah, that's an understandable reason to, to not want it, but I don't, um, I, I, like, there's been a lot of, like, you know, kind of recent, like, deaths. People falling out of the damn coasters and dying, and I'm like, you know what? I'm okay. I don't, yeah, I think I'm. I, I choose forget life. It. Forget it. I won't go on one. <laughs> okay, so I paused it right here, right before the explodey, the explodey bit. Mm -hmm. That's a big puff ball for a little tiny thing. It is. Oh, Maybe that was loud. Maybe yeah? it's an IED, an improvised explosive device. Oh you're an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're dumb. Like a firework. Why did you? I've thrown a bottle rocket before, right? Like I've done that. Are you? I don't think you're supposed to, right? No. <laughs> no, we're not supposed to do it, but I've done it. Okay. I am dumb. Okay, there are there's a reason my hands have burn marks and scars all over them. I have done some stupid shit. Like throwing a bottle rocket. While really fun. Ow. This is not gonna be great. That was very pretty. I that was very pretty. Don't you set that yard on fire. It's my job. Oh yeah, that yard's on fire already. That bush is on fire. Nice. Yeah, he got the watering gun. Jesus. So that's how our street looks. Um, like it looks like gunpowder everywhere. It's such a lovely smell. Makes me weird. Some people like get the smell of gas. I like the smell of gunpowder. I like <laughs> Gunpowder smells like freedom to me. Oh Jesus! Yeah, my hands. Uh, we cleaned our our guns tonight, like last night. Mm -hmm. I did a deep scrub, and then I went to wash my hands, and I was like, hmm, my hands smell like peppermint and gunpowder. Awesome. This is a great mix of smells. <laughs> I believe that's the end of this. Wow, they fractured that window. <laughs> oh god, we are not watching this. I am not putting that because that is shaky as all hell. So, with that, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Yes. I hope Stay safe. Here. Don't necessarily stay sober, but be smart about it. <laughs> if you are not going to stay sober, at least stay safe. As the Desakis commercial says, drink responsibly, my friends. Always have a designated driver. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, just, just try to, you know, just try not to burn your house down like, yeah. or your neighbor's house. Yeah. Um, yeah. Try to not, I know, I know it's going to be hard, but try not to lose any fingies. You know, your wife and might not be very happy if you lose some fingies. Think about it like that. Keep all the animals inside. So yeah. going to be scared. Yes. Comfort, comfort the puppies after you get done. Funny enough, my, my brother's dog and our chihuahua don't give a fuck about fireworks. Really? Yeah, they don't care. They don't give a shit. Oh. So... Just Have like I said. Everyone.
be responsible and uh, do me one favor. Can you guys hit the like and the subscribe button? Yes, It'll do a please. huge, huge thing for the channel. Um, if you guys have any crazy fucking stories for 4th of July that you guys want to share, I want to oh, hear them in the comments. Yeah. Or I want to see yes. them in the comments, please. <laughs> and if you guys uh, want more story time and podcasts like that, uh, I would be happy to do that. I'm trying to rope in Matt and Lindell, a couple other people. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, and uh, a thing, you guys want to put a thousand dollars towards this channel? I'll shave my beard, <laughs> full baby oh, face. Okay. You, you, it's happening. Okay. It's a matter of time. Okay. okay. <laughs> you get like I said, you guys don't have to do anything, but if you want to see this this mug baby faced. It's gonna be a G because I love this. I love this beard, and quite frankly, I don't think anybody's gonna do it. That's why I set it so high. So I was trying to to, and yeah, he's like get mad at me. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make. I'm not it. gonna get mad at it. I wouldn't have said it just mad. now, and I'm not gonna put it on YouTube if I wouldn't be mad. At it. You say that, but I know you love your beard. So I do I love my beard, but I also don't. I can regrow it in a month. Well, that's true. So, I'm not, I can, I, I can, yeah. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're all right with a two hour long video. I'm not going to edit any of this. I'm not going to make Miss Noodles edit any of this either. That's going to be, a, that would be a hellacious task. Yeah, so this is going up as is. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.